Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival Creativity. Today's video is going to be um, a try something new batik sort of batik batik I don't know how you even say it um, but whatever that word is video. Um, so if you like this video please make sure to subscribe and without further ado I'm going to hop right in to how I did it. So the way I'm showing you today is a flower paste batik. I think they originally used to do it with like wax and things um, but wax is a bit difficult to get out of fabric afterwards and it works really well with, and is really easy with the flower paste as well. So to make your flower paste for your batik you want to start off with some plain flour and some water as well as some alum powder. Now the alum powder is um, just to stop nasty things from growing in your flour mixture whilst it dries and everything and it's really cheap and affordable and easy to pick up off Amazon and places like that. So you want to start off with half, 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 half a cup of flour, half a cup of water and two teaspoons of alum powder. Give this a good whisk with a, a beater, a whisk a whisk beater? I don't know. Um, and so and so they're thoroughly mixed through and then slowly add any additional flour as you need it so that when you pick up the um, beater the consistency is a bit more like pancake batter but will hold moderate peaks. You don't want it too liquid because if you put it in the um, icing bag and it's too liquid your pattern's just going to splurge everywhere. So bear this in mind. You then, whilst this is sitting, you want to let it sit a few minutes before putting it in your um, piping bag. You want to prep your surface and your fabric. So um, for this I'm just using some white cottony fabric. Um, it, this fabric was really stretchy but it seemed to work really well. Um, and a picture frame and all I'm doing is pinning the fabric round onto the back of the picture frame with some push pins. Um, and once you've done this you want to make sure that the fabric is nicely taut around the whole frame starting on one side and then pulling the other side tight and doing this working on diagonals as well. So once you've done this you're ready to put your batik paste into the um, icing bag. I just used a reusable icing bag and then started um, to fill this up with a really fine tip nozzle on the end. Um, this is super super easy doing it with a piping bag because you have so much control over it and it will come out in a nice thin line, a bit like a pen. Um, so yeah. Um, then once your mixture's all in your um, piping bag, you're ready to go. And you can draw whatever patterns you want with this. I went for a swirly pattern. You can even double do it, so you do the flower paste, you let it dry, you dip it or spray it with the fabric paint and then do it again and then spray it with a different colour of fabric painting um, once the, um, pow the powder the um, paste is dry, the second lot of paste is dry, but I just went for one round. So I drew all of my um, spirals and things on my fabric, le completely left this to dry. I left mine to dry for like two or three days, but it should dry nicely overnight. You want to make sure that it is fully dry, otherwise the next step isn't going to work. And um, the flour paste will be water soluble anyway, so um, it's best just to leave it dry. Um, once it's fully dry, you can sort of push underneath or on top to create little cracks in the um, uh, batik pattern or whatever um, design you've gone for. And this will allow some of the colour to seep through, giving that um, traditionally batik sort of look to it and then in terms of painting and things I don't suggest putting like fully immersing this 
in fabric dye just because as I said before this paste is water soluble so I, I don't think it would work I think it would just melt the alum paste and then you just end up dyeing the fabric plain so I went with some fabric paint in a spray bottle and diluted this with some water and sprayed it over you could try putting quite um, concentrated fabric dye in a spray bottle and spraying it just so it's more controlled and it's not completely immersing it but then all you want to do is carry on spraying, painting your um, uh, fabric. You can even use a stipple brush as well to dab some more concentrated pieces of um, fabric paint colour onto certain locations. And once you are happy with your design, you just want to leave that to completely dry before going in and picking up all of the pieces of the dried um, mixture that will reveal your pattern so this is quite a time consuming process depending on how much fabric you've done but it's really easy to do so all you want to do is literally just pull up all of the pieces of um, paste dried paste and that will reveal your final result you can then also um, iron this to seal the colour of the fabric in if you're going to use it as a textile or something to like uh, that might need washing or things like that but I decided to pop mine in a frame and use it either as a tray or as like some artwork and I'm so happy with how it turned out I think it looks really really cool and effective so if you like this video please make sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time bye guys